today we're going to try a quick rundown on changing the brakes on a Toyota RAV4. Um, front brakes that is. First thing you got to do is get your vehicle properly supported and uh, check the brake fluid level. Normally when your brakes start wearing down the brake fluid level will also go down to take up the space that the brakes were using primarily. So let's get started. Alright, here is the uh, 97 RAV4. The uh, brake fluid is in here. My fluid level is a little low. I also know that the uh, brakes were getting low because my wife said that she heard a grinding noise. And right here is the grinding noise. It's just starting to scuff the rotor. So got my vehicle supported on the I'm gonna go ahead and take this wheel off and we'll get into uh, how to put the pads on here in a second okay we got the wheel off now the next step in the process is to uh, compress the caliper. Now, I use a, uh, a, a six inch clamp for this and why isn't this thing focusing? There we go. I'll go in on the brake pad and then I'll use the uh, bolt on the back of the assembly for the other end of the clamp. And then go ahead and and turn this thing down. Now if you can see the uh, boot right here, where the assembly slides on to uh, do the clamping. Oops. Keep my thumb off the microphone. Hopefully, go ahead and turn that down until you until you see that start to compress. You see that boot getting smaller, but don't take it down too far. I just take it down until it touches, and now there's space in between the disc, the uh, the the caliper, of this ear, and the uh, and the uh, pad itself. All right, now when you compress this. The piston moves and you're actually pushing fluid back through the line up into the brake reservoir. So when you're pushing that fluid back up in the brake reservoir, you go back up and check it out and see how much fluid you pushed back up into the reservoir. Now you can see the the amount of fluid that I had in there before was down here now it's up here so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that as I uh, install both sets of uh, pads because I don't want to end up pushing fluid pushing enough fluid back up into the reservoir that it pops the cap off and makes a mess and you have a spill and then you gotta clean it all up so uh yeah, just keep an eye on that. Next thing I'm going to be doing is taking out this bolt and this bolt. Once those two bolts are out, the whole assembly will come off. I'll, I'll take this clamp. I can take this clamp off now, and then I can uh, take that assembly off and then the pads are just held in by these little clips. Pop the old pads off, pop the new ones in. Let's see how that goes. Okay, I know the uh, sunshine's gonna be messing with the uh, camera here, but go ahead and I already have the bottom one out. Loosen the top one up, it's a short little bolt there. just rolled away 
try to keep these somewhere where they where they can't escape and then the uh, the caliper just comes right off and I just get that out of the way back there and then I can uh, all right and the pad sits in this little stainless steel spring assembly on both sides so I'm gonna, just gonna take my screwdriver and uh, pop it loose there like that like that and then it comes right out and then when you put the new one in of course you gotta compress these clips so that the new one can fit in stick that in there we'll get the new one and put that in okay I have my new pad here I have this little clip on the outside this is actually meant to make a noise when it grinds down as these wear out as it gets thinner this clip eventually touches the rotor and starts making a noise so that it doesn't grind the whole way down and you end up getting a little score mark like off I just line that up in the clips like like so and then just tap them back in where they belong and then it's the same procedure for the back side as well it's going to be tough getting the camera back there so I'm just going to skip that part all right okay I had a little trouble getting these in <clears throat> now these pads as they wear they have to be able to move along with the uh, the rest of the assembly as they uh, as they start narrowing down now if these fit in too tight and that's what the problem was that I had that uh, <clears throat> I, when I when I stuck them in they actually bound up and uh, that's that's not good they have to be like I said they have to be able to move so what I found was that the uh, the the end of the uh, um, stamp here had a little flash on it and it was too tight when I put it in so I took the grinder and I just took a little tiny bit you know the paint and the uh, the, the edge off of it so that when I uh, put it in here that it actually goes in easily all right and I did end up taking these uh, you know popping these spring clips out of the groove cleaning underneath it and setting it back down to try to get the clearance that I needed but I still couldn't get it so I just took a little off the end there to clean that up and now they uh, now as you can see they, uh, they, they go right in easily and they uh, clamp completely to the rotor so that'll help things out alright now if I can uh, hold the camera and do this at the same time I'm going to uh, push the piston in a little bit so that I can slide the assembly back on. Hopefully, you can see this. Just compress that a little bit. Now, <clears throat> don't forget that <clears throat> that also pushes fluid back into the reservoir, so we're going to have to check the reservoir again. But yeah, I have to squeeze that in just a little bit yet because I don't have quite enough to slide it on. Alright, as I suspected, I ended up uh, pushing a little brake fluid out of the reservoir because of the amount of compression that I had to give the pads and the fluid level is too high. So I'll take this uh, syringe that I found and just uh, suck some of that fluid out of there so that I have enough room to compress the piston on the other side. Okay. That'll give me a little room 
I'll have to suck some more out of there so that I can compress the other side but that's one of the downfalls of adding brake fluid if you add brake fluid that means normally that your pads or shoes have worn down and the uh, uh, the problem it wasn't that some of the fluid escaped somewhere it was that uh, your uh, your brake levels are actually uh, needing to be checked out just make make sure when you uh, push that piston in that you don't catch the uh, that rubber part and tear it then you'll be rebuilding the caliper or going down to your place to uh, get a remanufactured job okay so we got that in got it lined up gonna put my bolts back in there now don't uh, make sure that you put the uh, put those bolts in and don't put too much pressure on them you don't want to twist that off you might want to put a little blue Loctite on there that'd be okay but um, for the most part just make them good and tight if you want to you can check your torque specs and uh, that's all there is to it just tighten those down and put the wheel back on and you're done alright have fun.